Hello everyone and welcome back. The third tab in the cyclopedia is charms. As we covered in the previous video, charm points are accumulated by completing bestiary entries. Once you have collected enough charm points, you can spend them to unlock a charm. A charm can be attached to a creature and will give you a bonus against that creature. Charms can only be attached to a fully unlocked creature and to one creature at a time. Also, each creature can only have one charm attached to it at a time. If you wish to remove a charm that is already assigned so it can be reassigned to another creature, it will cost your character level times 100 gold. For example, a level 115 character will have to pay 11,500 gold. Charms can either be added or removed to a creature from the Charm tab or by searching for the creature within the bestiary. Free account players can only assign two charms at a time, while premium players are allowed to assign six. It is also possible to buy an item from the store for Tibia coins that will allow your character to use all of the charms and reduce the cost of removing charms by 25%. Just remember, store items only affect the character they were purchased for. Charms fall into three categories, which are offensive, defensive, and passive. We will cover each charm now and display the associated charm point cost to unlock it. For offensive charms, there are Wound, which does physical damage, Inflame, which does fire damage, Poison, does earth damage, Freeze, is ice damage, Zap, does energy damage, Curse, is death damage, and Cripple, which paralyzes the creature. This can take effect even if it's amused to the paralyzed condition. All offensive charms have a 10% chance to trigger when you do damage and will do 5% of the creature's max health as that elemental damage. Cripple is the exception which adds a 10 second paralysis instead of doing damage. The elemental damage of the charm is affected by the creature's resistances. For example, hitting a juggernaut which has 20,000 health and is neutral to death damage. If the curse charm were to trigger, it would add an extra 1,000 damage. If the zap charm were to trigger, it would do 1100 damage as they take 10% increased damage to energy. This makes it valuable when doing area of effect spells and runes as you have multiple chances to trigger your charms. To get the most out of damage charms, you want to have them on the highest health creatures you are hunting and to be hitting them with area damage. Damage over time effects of field runes such as bombs or walls will not trigger charm damage. Next we will cover defensive charms, which have more varying effects than the offensive ones. These also have a 10% chance to trigger, but when you receive damage from a creature. For defensive charms, you have parry. The damage that's taken is reflected back to the attacking creature. You will still take the damage, but the attacking creature will too. This is best used against high damage creatures with a low health pool, such as Grim Reapers. This can help you get more of a benefit than using an offensive damage charm in some cases. Dodge. You will dodge an attack of the creature and take no damage. This also counts for spells or waves used by the creature. Adrenaline Burst. If this charm triggers, it will increase your speed for 10 seconds. Numb. Paralyzes the attacking creature for 10 seconds, even if it is immune to the paralysis effect. Cleanse. If this triggers, it will remove one random negative status effect and temporarily make you immune to it. This can be beneficial in PvP if you put it on an easy and common creature like a rat. If an enemy casts soul fire on you, getting hit by the rat can remove this effect. This can remove effects like paralysis, burning, electrify, etc. Lastly, we'll review the passive charms. These are always active and do not have to be triggered, but aren't as useful as the offensive and defensive charms. These are not commonly used by most Tibians. For passive charms, we have Bless. Reduces the skill and experience loss if you are killed by the chosen creature. Scavenge. Increases your chances to successfully skin a creature. This applies to using the obsidian knife or a blessed stake when attempting to retrieve leather or dust from the corpse. Gut. The creature drops 10% more creature products. Low blow. Adds 3% critical chance if you're using a weapon with critical damage. In most cases, you'd be better off using an offensive charm than this. If you're looking for some recommendations, there is no exact right answer on which charms to get first. They each have their own benefits and it can depend on what and how you hunt. 
In general, though, offensive damage charms are usually considered more valuable. Wound is a good first choice, as it is one of the cheaper at 600 charm points, and most creatures either take neutral damage or close to it from physical. The next charms that are recommended are Freeze and Zap, as these work well on many mid to late game creatures. Hopefully this can help you understand how charms work and the benefit of using them. See you in the next video.